Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something a little bit different. Uh, one of the processes of, of my uh, modification stuff I do uh, from time to time. I don't do this very often because it's very time consuming. Uh, but thought some of you might enjoy seeing kind of what goes into this, uh, this modification stuff. Um, so what we have is we have a Moog Prodigy. Uh, this is uh, you know the Moog Prodigy. It's a pretty simple little synth. It's, it's got a really good set of oscillators and uh, a good filter and just a basic uh, simple envelope generator, two control generators for uh, loudness as well as the filter for those that don't know. And it's got one modulation source that modulates both the uh, oscillators and the filter. And uh, so this is actually getting some modifications for my client uh, who wants this thing to do a little bit more than what it did from the factory. So what I've got is actually I've been working on the mods for the last week and I uh, got most of them built on the circuit board now. Uh, designed them, built them, and uh, really happy with everything so far. Uh, now, this kind of gives you an idea of what goes into modifications. One reason I don't do them very often because it's very time consuming. Um, and what I have here is I actually uh, I made a LFO circuit, a uh, PWM circuit for both oscillator 1 and 2, so it's going to have pulse width control as well as modulation of the pulse width and uh, so it's going to be really nice in that aspect because uh, originally these were fixed with like I think it was a I forget what the duty cycle is of the fixed uh, pulse and it has one that's a square wave I think oscillator 2 is a square wave 50% duty cycle the first oscillator I think I want to say it's 10% duty cycle but they're fixed you can't actually control the pulse width of that um, so I've, I've built circuitry to allow you to do that um, also it's, it's got a octave uh, circuit in here as well so you can actually change the octave of the keyboards up and down an octave now that's not wired up yet so you don't get to hear that just yet I um, also built a noise source generator of discrete transistors um, and so that's kind of what I've got going on as you can see on my scope right now it's actually you can see the PWM I got a slow rate pulse width modulation you can also see the frequency modulation in that as well which is a little faster and uh, so you can get, kind of get an idea how this sounds. I'll show you how this sounds. So now we'll turn off oscillator one. Here's oscillator two with the pulse width modulation. I control the rate of that with the LFO I built. So you can see it actually getting faster on the scope there. Turn off frequency modulation. We can control the we can actually control the rate as well as the amount of pulse width. Of course I can't turn our modulation off right now because I got it hardwired. Um, it will have a rate, I mean, uh, a amount control as well. But right now I've just got it hardwired using a wire because I'm actually out of jumpers. So having to just test all this out. Today's actually testing day. I'm just making sure all this stuff works the way I want it to work and then make any modifications to the circuitry design as I go. Um, but now I've got it back at slow rate and we can actually change that pulse width. So you'll see as I change the pulse width control, you'll see it get more narrow or wider. The thing actually will go all the way to a zero pulse, as you can see right there. So you can kind of see how that works. So I'm actually make it where it disappears. If you hear that, you've got it fixed right there, and you can actually hear how that sounds. We'll modulate that a little faster. Put frequency modulation back in there. So anyways, you can hear how that sounds. I've also got a noise source, which uh, I've got it wired right here temporarily so we can bring that in. You get to hear the noise.
it'll close that filter up. Sorry, train's going by outside, so it's kind of hard to hear that, but uh, anyways, you can hear how the noise source works, and then and we'll close that up, we'll turn off oscillator one. You can also hear how the interaction of the of the pulse width modulation there as well. Speed it up here. Do you hear that inside the filter? get the idea how this thing works but just thought some of you might enjoy seeing some of the modification stuff what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna put a buffer on the LFO and actually make it work and uh, I'm gonna have make and break jacks on the back of this thing and so what it'll allow you to do is when you plug in external uh, LFO or external sequencer or whatever you want to plug in you'll actually break the signal of these uh, of these LFO this LFO here and allow you to modulate the pulse width from external sources such as sequencers, other LFOs, other synthesizer, key tracking, etc. And then at the same time though, this uh, LFO is going to be buffered so you can actually use this uh, this LFO externally with other synthesizers. So I'm going to make it kind of semi-modular is my, is my plot here. And I think that's going to work really well. But uh, anyways, this is kind of just a, a look at some of the stuff that goes on. I've still got to build the wiring harness. I've actually put uh, sockets, so there actually be a socketed network of plugs. I try to make all my mods as easy to service as I can, because you know this stuff does. You know, you, you run into issues, so uh, I'm going to make it really serviceable for our future reference. And uh, like I said, I hadn't serviced the actual Prodigy yet. It's actually got a key click issue. Um, which I got addressed, but I hadn't even serviced this just in case I burnt something up here because that does happen sometimes when, you, when you're doing modifications you know sometimes things will go wrong and so it's a lot easier just to service it after you got all the mods built and tested and then you service the unit then you install the mods and then you know double check your wiring harness and all that good stuff before you actually wire it into the board and uh, that's kind of my approach with this stuff but uh, I thought some of you guys might enjoy seeing these this modification I'm working on. Just kind of give you a good overview. I will show you the noise here too on the scope. It's a lot lower. Uh, it's a lot lower voltage. We'll go to two volts, and you can just kind of see the noise here. We'll probe it right here. But there's a noise source. There, it's a kind of a low output, but I got it buffered as well. Wrong, wrong control. Anyway, you can kind of see the noise there. So that's your white noise, which you can actually hear. I'll turn down the oscillator so you can hear this in the raw. So let me turn this up here. So there's our noise source. We can close that filter up. And you're going to hear a little bit of noise because I'm actually using the power supply of this unit as well as the power supply here to just power the controls because I didn't have enough jumpers to wire it all into the power supply of the of the synth. So it's got a little hum in it just because the the relation issue. But uh, anyways, that's uh, what I've been working on here. Thought some of you guys might enjoy this. But uh, yeah, what I've got is I got this little board here. So you got a noise source generator, you got the LFO, the pulse width controller circuit, and then the octave shields which all come out of these pins here and then be addressed in the harness. But uh, Anyways, just thought some of you guys might enjoy seeing some of these modifications and 
uh, kind of look at what goes on. I know I've shared some modifications in the past with these, like with the foot pedal controller I've built, uh, where you can actually control octaves and everything with the foot pedal, filter sweeps, etc. Of course, I'm redesigning that a little bit too since that era of time, uh, just, to, just to make it a little bit better. But uh, this is just something else I'm working on. And uh, I might eventually release all this stuff. I'm, I don't know, because I, I don't really have a lot of time to do mods much. I mean, it just it takes so much of my time, and I've got such a backlog of work. But uh, this has actually been waiting for a good year <laughs> for these mods. So it was time to, uh, to jump on it and, and get this going here. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and there'll be more to come after I get this thing fixed up. Take care.